He wants to be the very best, like no one ever was. To catch them is his real test, the training is his cause. Ash Ketchum has been around for 20 years, despite not aging. However, the Pokemon series as a whole is a much older than 20 years, especially in the newest iterations of Sun and Moon, where it's much more modern than what Pokemon used to be. And that goes for action figures as well. Hi, I'm Lane Wilkinson, and this is Tomy's is Sun and Moon Ash versus Wicked Cool Toys is Sun and Moon Ash. Wicked Cool Toys' Ash figure was not meant to be an action figure to begin with, more like a gimmick toy you would see at McDonald's. He has a clear plastic seat on his right arm, which means that uh, he can throw Pikachu into battle, which is uh, what the gimmick was supposed to be. Aside from that, he has a rotating head and uh, his waist uh, temporarily only rotates. Like I said, it's part of the mechanic. Tomy's Ash figure is an actual action figure. He can pose. He's mostly posable. I mean, heck, he has uh, his shoulder joints are like a ball joint, but also has the universal hinge joints. So that way he can be posed uh, into the actual sun and moon pose that he is posed into. I don't really know what it's called, but whatever. He also has a way to carry Pikachu due to how extensive he has in a lot of articulation. He has articulation everywhere, and he's basically like a world Nintendo figure, but better. In terms of articulation, Tomy wins for more articulation, especially since he's literally an action figure compared to Wicked Cool Toys' as Ash. Tomy did a fantastic job replicating Sun and Moon Ash. In fact, I could even say that this figure is better than the actual design of Sun and Moon Ash. Also, not to mention that the uh, sculpt on the articulation does not make the figure look off-model at all, and it looks fantastic. Wicked Cold Toys' Ash, while kind of a statue, also has an, a good likeness to it. However, a lot of people complained on the prototype that he looked like a Simpsons character. Obviously, this round goes to Wicked Cool Toys. Just kidding, it's Tomy. The paint job on Wicked Cool Toys' Ash is not really that great. I mean, the paints themselves are bright and colorful, which is good, but the paint job itself is very bad. You can definitely see that in the hat. Tomy's' Ash figure has a, you know, it does have some of the paint flubs, but they're kind of minor and unnoticeable. Overall, he has a gray paint job. I mean, he even has a matte finish paint job, which you can tell that he's definitely made out of that awesome Tomy quality plastic. Obviously, this round goes to Tomy. Wicked Cool Toys is the new toy master of Pokemon, in America at least, which means that Tomy, at least the American branch, lost the Pokemon license, but hey, they may get the license back immediately because, you know, they do kind of have it forever. But anyways, that means that Tomy's' Ash figure is kind of not available in stores anymore. However, I was able to find it at Gamers World, one for $17 and one for $20. However, I ordered it on Amazon, which is a lot cheaper. And it goes for $13, which is a bit expensive but at least it's quality. Now, Wicked Cool Toys' Ash just came out and it is still around. I found mine at Target. And it is $10, the same price as a World of Nintendo figure. So overall, Wicked Cool Toys wins for uh, availability and price point. I mean, what's an Ash toy without Pikachu? I mean, Pikachu is Ash's partner in crime. I mean, adventure for crust's sakes. I mean, both figures come with Pikachu. While Wicked Cool Toys didn't really did an awesome job with uh, the figure, at least the sculpt looks nice. My only problem is the paint job. It's kinda bad. I mean, the cheek areas are uh, mispainted. And also not to mention that the tail feels a bit too light and a bit flimsy, like it's gonna break off. Tomy's Pikachu has that matte finish paint job, which is very common on Tomy toys, which gives it the Tomy quality of 
toys. No. But anyways, it also has a much durable tail. Overall, uh, Tomy wins for a much better Pikachu figure. If the figures look nice, well, how do they hold up? Well, Tomy's this figure, while uh, cool looking and has much better articulation and sculpt, he is a bit fragile, well, at least on my figure, he does have some loose joints, and a lot of his joints are removable, which is probably not good, which definitely means that this is definitely not really a toy for kids to play with, especially when they play a lot rougher. While we could call toys as Ash, while the quality is not as good and the plastic's kind of bad, at least uh, it doesn't have any articulation whatsoever, except for the head and temporarily waist joint. Obviously, this round goes to Wicked Cool Toys and for much better durability due to lack of articulation. The packaging on Wicked Cool Toys' Sun and Moon Ash looks great. It has the waterish color as well as the red and white color to represent the Pokeball. It displays the figures very nice as well as giving many details and presentations. However, Tomy destroys Wicked Cool Toy with their packaging because the packaging on Tomy's Sun and Moon figures are based on Sun and Moon, you know, the darkish blue and the goldenish yellow color, and that kind of represents Sun and Moon much more, especially not to mention that Ash Ketchum is based off of his Sun and Moon design from the cartoon series. It also displays the figure much better, and uh, basically Tomy's figure, as well as the packaging, beats out anything, almost anything, Wicked Cool Toys would ever do. In conclusion, Tomy's Sun and Moon Ash figure is the better figure. Now, even though he is a bit fragile, and not to mention expensive and no longer to get, at least he's an example on why Tomy is the only company to make good Pokemon toys outside of Figure Arts and Figmas. Thanks for watching.